Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be doing another skateboard review of the four wheel drive DIY board that I built. Those of you that haven't seen the original build video, it is a single motor, single battery layout to where you just have one drive and then a normal truck in the front. And that was fine for a while until I realized that it wasn't enough to pull me up hills that I wanted to. Mostly just seemed underpowered overall, at least for my weight, which is 190 pounds. So then I started looking for options of how I can get more power out of the thing. And the only viable thing that seemed to work logically is just doubling the power output systems. So now we have two drives that are identical, front and back. So essentially we have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive system now so let's flip this thing around and look at it so as you can see there's two boxes or covers here enclosures and uh, actually both of them are separate units for each of the drive systems so inside there is identical parts to each other to drive each system and to be honest guys, this was not my idea of great final finish because this was more of a prototype to see how I would like it and how it would turn out the whole idea of having a four wheel drive system. And let me tell you guys, it has been amazing. Um, I've literally have doubled the power or even more power. And the reason for that is because, because I have two systems each system is now not working as hard so if I would have just one it'd have to pull me so there's less inefficiencies because of that especially voltage drop on the battery so now that I have two systems the voltage drop has reduced significantly because there is a lot more torque so everything significantly we got better uh, including the pickup speed so now whenever I take off I mean it takes off real quick climbing hills is just a breeze now I mean this thing can climb pretty much any hill now no problem plus the off-road capabilities on this thing is amazing i can ride on grass no problem so here in the back of the board i have the old truck that i had from uh, the first build but these in the front are practically brand new all right so if your question is how can two separate units be controlled by one remote that's pretty simple the controllers are programmed to work with only one remote so um there that's why there's a little bridge here on the board where you can see um, and what you got here is communication between the two what I'm also doing is I'm sharing power between these two so essentially the battery packs even though they're separated and they're all separate system I got them linked together that way one doesn't get lower than the other they all stay level to the same so here in the back we got the power button and in the front box enclosure here we got the charging port so when I plug this in to charge, everything charges together because they're all linked. And this is another reason why they're linked. So the controller that I bought for this thing actually is a newer one. It's upgraded. And it has the feature where you roll this and it turns on. There goes one of these wheels and you can see it turned on. So that's been very convenient. So let's go ahead and spin these motors so you guys can see kind of how it all works. I'm just going to go, let's see, really slow here. There we go and all of them are spinning so as you can see guys we have a four-wheel drive system so we're going to speed it up a little bit so they're all spinning pretty quick right now and as you can hear it's very quiet even with four of them it does have a like a whiny sound but it's you know it's a nice whiny sound Let's see if I can go a little quite faster now. It's 
as you can hear it's pretty quiet all right guys so what more can i say let's just uh, go ahead and ride it around and uh, i can tell you my impressions all right guys so i just gotta sit on the grass and i'm just gonna go and you guys can see how quick it just goes so it has no problem of just going whoa okay it was too fast didn't stop fast enough <laughs> Yeah, this thing is just, it just goes. I mean, it doesn't mess around. So I'm gonna attempt to film a little bit here how how uh, it rides and how capable it is, I guess. I'm gonna try to ride here and then go off on the grass and keep riding. So I'm gonna try to film this. Hopefully you can see it. I got it on the slowest part. Should I say the slowest mode? So hopefully it'll still have enough torque to pull me, but it should. Let's check it out. All right, let's go. So I'm just gonna ride here and then I'm just gonna ride, ride off to the grass, keep riding. And as you can see guys, it has no issues whatsoever. I mean, I'm just riding it on the grass. And this is slow mode by the way. So it has no issues whatsoever with that. If I put it on something faster, it'll still do it even way faster than this. So which I'm trying to avoid putting too much stress on the batteries. But it's it, it's so capable, it's it's ridiculous. Like I would have never thought that you know a board like this can carry my weight just around terrain like this. So I don't really have a good way to show you guys how I can ride this thing really fast but or what the pickup speed is but um, I can see if I can attempt it a little bit here so I'm gonna stop completely and then I'm just gonna like floor it hard as I can and I don't have it on the fat if I put it on the fast mode it'll probably throw me off the board Anyways, let's see if you guys can kind of get this, judge the distance here, of how quick this thing accelerates. But here we go. So that's real fast, by the way. I mean, that's close to, that was close to 18 miles per hour, probably, maybe more. So, this thing is just mean machine, that's all I gotta say. Okay, so now I'm gonna attempt to show you how quick it is without being on it, so you can see a little better. So I got the remote and it's ready to roll. So I'm just gonna floor it and see what happens. So it's gonna start on pavement to get good grip. And then it's gonna fly into the grass over there, I guess. All right, ready? One, two, three. It does have kind of a little bit of a soft start because it's trying to figure out how much uh, torque it needs in the beginning. But once, like there's about half a second delay once it figures that out, I mean, it delivers the torque like crazy. But that's a good thing because if this thing was just sharp off the off the start, I mean, it'll throw you off guaranteed. So. Um, it has semi soft function, but still very like you really have to be prepared when you uh, go. So I'm going to show you guys here that I'm just going to start right off the grass with no issues whatsoever with me even. As you can see, I mean, I'm just going. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to mention is because it has so much power, whenever you're turning, let's say I'm leaning in and turning like this, and my weight kind of goes more to the back, the front will actually pop up like it's trying to do a wheelie as it's, you know, accelerating through a turn. So I had to get used to that to control that, like it's trying to like pick up always constantly. So it's kind of crazy, but I would not start with this, this kind of setup with as a beginner. It's a little bit extreme. So yeah guys, I don't know what else to uh, show you, but it's such a fun board. Um, I'm not going to do top speeds and all that. I'm sure it's pretty fast. I know it definitely goes over 20 miles an hour. I would say probably 22 to 25, easy. I'm not sure, my weight's a little bit heavier, so it might you know, not be as fast. But honestly, that is plenty fast for me. In four-wheel drive, I can easily get seven miles to eight sometimes, depending. So that's really good. And... Uh, before I only got about uh, five, six, maybe a little more than that on just two wheel drive. Cause it had to work a lot harder to carry me around. Now that there's two of them, the efficiency is a lot better. So we're by the beach here and I want to make a few slow motion videos with this thing. So you can see a little better how the four wheel drive system goes. So we're gonna do some burnouts in the sand.
right, so we're gonna end this video with this amazing board. So if you're still thinking if it's worth it, four-wheel drive system, it definitely is, in my opinion. I think you'll definitely not be disappointed in it. This is a prototype for me. I'm still not happy with everything. I'm going to rebuild everything from the deck down. So I want a clean design and a clean look. This was to make sure that I would enjoy it before I invest more into the board. I'm going to continue to improve it and upgrade it. All right, guys, check the description out. I'll try to leave some links to where I got all the parts and what they were. Check out my other skateboard videos. I have a bunch of them on how I built this thing from the start to finish and the first build. If you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.